Hey guys, in this video, we will learn how to file uploading in Laravel application. So let's get started with the example. So now I already downloaded fresh Laravel application and it's running. So let me create one controller for the starting. So let me go here and let me clear it. So let me create a controller, Mac controller and I will say file upload controller. Okay, and it's created a one controller. So let me go here and let me check it here. So you can see that that's created a file upload controller. Now let me create one route. So let me go here and create one route over here. So let me say route get and I will say simply upload and then I will use file upload controller colon colon class and I will say like create method and simply save it. Okay, and let me use the controller over here app and I will say HTTP and I will say controllers and then I will say file upload controller. Simply save it and now let me go to the file controller file and here let me create one create uh, function. So let me go here and simply create it and I will simply return lead file over here. So I will say view and there will be file upload. Okay, simply save it. Now we need to go to the resource file inside that view folder we need to create a file upload file dead file okay simply save it okay and i will say file upload dot blad dot php i am using the bootstrap design so let me create simply bootstrap uh, include and over here simply i use like card for that so like file upload example simply save it okay and now if i go here i will create a simple form with the file input so simply create a form and you can see that there is a simply created a form. I will say file and type will be the file and name will be the file as well. Okay, simply save it. And now let me run the application again and let's see how it looks. Okay, simply serve it. Okay, now if I go here and simply call upload it, you can see that much better layout with the file upload option where user will select the file and click on submit. It should be saved into the folder. Okay, so now let me create another route for it. So let me go here and create another route for it. So let me call route and I will say post route and I will say upload. And then again, I will say file upload and controller. Then I will say store method and I will give the route name as well. So I will say file colon upload. Okay, simply save it. Okay, and now simply copy this route and go here. And into the action, I will add the route tag. So route, and I will say file upload. And we are using the file upload option, so we can allow ENC type. So ENC type and multi-part form data. Simply save it, okay? Now if I go to the controller, we need to create a store method over here. So simply function, okay? And simply store it, okay? And I will say request and I will use the request, okay? And simply, I will define the validation for the file input. So I will say validate, okay? And here I will define the file, okay, file. And first will be the required, then I will say file, and MIMES will be the PNG, JPG, and I will say PDF as well, okay? So only these three file will allow to upload. After that, I will use the request, and file and only the file object has a store method given by Laravel and store method will take only one argument that is called uploads. I will call, I will pass folder name over here. So that means it will go to the storage folder. Inside that app folder, there will be a, into the private, they will create upload folder to store that file simply. And I will go here and simply, I will say file path and simply save it okay and i will be simply return back and then i will say like fit simply success and i will pass the success message file upload that okay simply save it okay and at the end semicolon and if i go to the file let me display the success message over here session and i will say success and i will say and session okay and let me simply 
add div and I will add the class and alert alert success simply go here and I will add the message that so I will say value okay simply save it okay and now let me go here our example and refresh it okay and now let me choose one file so I will choose the picture and choose one and click on submit you can see that file uploaded successfully now let me go here into our project and inside the private you can see that upload folder and you can see that that's what we selected the file that's come up here into the uploads folder okay now with the success message i also want to add the download file option so that way you can also download so let me go here and let me pass the file path as well over here so i will save with that file and then i will say okay then i will say file path simply save it okay and now let me create one route over here for the download so let me go here and route get route and i will say upload slash so i will say download and then i will say file upload controller class and then i will say download method and here will be the route name i will define so file dot download okay simply save it okay now if i go here and i will simply copy this one okay and i will say if there is a file then there will be a one attack and inside the a i will call the route for the file upload so i will say file dot download and i will define like a file dollar value okay and here i will be give the like download file okay simply save it okay and now if i go to the controller let me go here and we use the function and let me create download function here and i will say request object and request okay and here i will be simply return response and download and i will say storage colon colon path and i will simply use the uploads whatever the folder and then simply we need to define the request file okay simply save it okay here when we pass the value at that time we need to use the base name because we don't have to pass the uploads folder name just need base name okay so i will say base name and i will simply comment it right okay now if i go and let me refresh it okay and now let me go and again the upload any one file so let me choose this one this time and click on you can see that it's uploaded successfully and there is a download file button now if i click on it okay there is a storage not found so i need to simply use it above so if i go here simply use storage for now and simply save it and hit refresh again you can see that and simply save it okay and let me go here uh, you can see that okay so it's very simple and you can do file uploading like this way i hope guys if you enjoy this video then please subscribe us thank you so much for watching